ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Zobra Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest city building, strategy games, and all the rest. Today we're checking out Myriad's Renaissance, which I have gone on record as saying is not my favorite name for a city building game. Uh, however, it's a very, very interesting one nonetheless, and I would like to explain it to you, and hopefully uh, we'll have a little bit of fun along the way. Right, let's customize ourselves a lovely little crest here. Um, I think something glorious and potato looking. Um, that doesn't look quite like a potato, but I think that is, uh, I think that is fine. Let's play on normal difficulty. We will be playing on default mode. That is fine. Enter faction name. The potato, the potatoites. Sure. Okay, now, this is a city builder. It's set in the sky. It's all about islands. It's all about connectivity. It's all about creating empires, like, out of nothing. It's very, very cool indeed. As I say, <laughs> the name doesn't really doesn't really do it justice, but uh, the game is releasing very, very shortly on the 1st of June, and so it's a fantastic opportunity to return to it. I think I played the demo a long time ago, but this is obviously the whole game. Right, we were Potatoites. A powerful and proud empire, our greatness was matched only by the Katana Empire, our greatest enemy. We split the world in two borders, changing with each victory uh, and defeat. Then the Great Fracture. This is not the world we knew. The continental battlefields we shaped are gone. Okay. Cool. Anyway, uh, so this is the world. This is the world. It's kind of wacky. It's kind of wild. So uh, what have we got going on here? Well, um, we are going to place what is referred to as our market. Now, our market is the sort of epicenter of the island. Uh, this is a pretty decent area for it, uh, for it to be. Now, things may look a little bit wacky, a little bit weird, but I will explain exactly what the heck is going on. So, uh, we have got all of our sort of little stats down here. We've got population, we've got housing spots, uh, we have got uh, island size. Island size, by the way. Uh, we are going to be able to drag in these little floating components and help make our island and city uh, a little bit bigger. We've got food, uh, we have got production, and we have got goods. So, that is, that is all, that is all fine. Now, uh, we have, uh, we'll start with this menu up here. We have the quest menu. This is a great little way of just guiding us towards uh, where we need to be going. We'll just take on board quests and we will get uh, we will get some little rewards. Anyway, build a farm on your capital island. Farms produce food and help your population grow. Very, very, very simple indeed. Uh, we can check out the construction menu. We can only build three things at the moment. We can build a farm. It must be placed in a wetland tile. That is these tiles over here. We will build it right about there. It's going to take two turns for us to uh, for us to build because it's going to take 20 production. You'll note that is exactly the amount of production uh, that we are getting times two. Uh, well, we're getting 10 production. It'll take 20. It'll take 20 production to build a farm uh, because that's exactly what the market is giving us. So yeah, there we go. Uh, that's that's how it is. Uh, we will build the farm and uh, we will be happy about it because that is pretty darn sick. What else have we got going on here? Um, we've got our citizens, our citizen overlay, kind of like Civ, you know, you're able to manage exactly like where people, uh, where people are working, uh, you know, housing spots, that sort of thing. We're able to see at a glance uh, what's going on. Uh, production queue, I've already talked about that a little bit. Uh, there is a whole big old tech tree here. Uh, we are going to go out into the big wide world and we're going to collect a whole bunch of research. We're going to do that very, very shortly indeed. Uh, and then we have got a list of ships. Now, um, turns out, in this weird and wacky world, um, ships ships can float. I don't know. I don't know the magic. I don't know the magic that is. I don't know. I don't know how it works. I don't know how it works. I don't pretend to know how it works. That just that just is what it is. Anyway, uh, we have got a galleon here, which is very very cool indeed. Um, there's a whole bunch of like sort of stats associated with it, uh, but there is also um, on the galleon individual militiamen um, or conscripts or swordsmen or whatever. You can recruit different different units to sit on the galleon and basically that will determine how expensive it is to maintain uh, a galleon now what we can do with this ship is we can do a whole bunch of stuff uh, we can actually go and explore the big wide world now i don't think we can see where our enemy's capital is but the enemy does have a capital. The enemy, by the way, also has um, this threat level, which we will talk a little bit about uh, as we progress. But for now, what we should do is we should probably try and target these science things. So, uh, battles in this game are predetermined, which is frankly the best way of doing battles, because you don't actually have to do any of the battle. We have got 30 firepower, which again comes from these militiamen that are actually on the battleship, or on the galleon, should I say. Um, the enemy here, the science thing, 
They've got, um, you know, they've got 10 firepower. We're going to win. We're going to win in two turns. So far, so good, right? So far, so good. I think we're, I think we're reasonably happy. Um, do I need to worry about any of this stuff? Ship filter? No. Help pages? No. Action filter? No. That's all fine. Uh, in the game menu. That is, that is all good. Uh, I think, I think that is a pretty good place for us to, I think that's a pretty good place for us to move forward. Uh, we are somewhat limited by the fact that we can only build, you know, one thing at a time. But as we go, we're going to try and get a lot of adjacency bonuses. We're going to be able to build a shipyard to get more ships. Um, we're going to be doing a heck of a lot of stuff. Right, so let's move forward to the next round here. Uh, nothing major happening on this one. Maybe with the exception of a quest being offered to us. Indeed, that is correct. That is what's happening. What have we got? Using one of your galleon. Um, loot a lost secret and get science. Science is used to unlock new technologies. Well, I will take that because, frankly, we are already we're already in the process of uh, of dealing with that, which is lovely. Okay, next turn, brilliant. Um, by the way, we can impact this world in a very, very uh, in in lots of very, very interesting ways. Actually, like we can do a lot of stuff. So there are straits over here. Um, we need to defeat these straits in order to like pass through. This is like our little region. Um, and we will we will move move on to it. Uh, we can we can move the ship down to fight the next sciency thing over here. We'll do that. Uh, but yeah, we can we can end up building structures here. We can get little settlements. We can get colonies. We can get outposts. A whole bunch of stuff. I love this sort of like micro game of like managing a city and managing production. And then you've got the sort of uh, macro game here where you you know you've got the the big the big worldwide map. Anyway, let's have a little look at quests. What do we got going on? Uh, we're actually just getting straight rewards, which is lovely. Uh, we're getting some coins. Brilliant. Uh, we'll collect both of those. Build a sawmill. I will take that. I will take that to the bank. Uh, yes, the production of your capital island is currently not in use. Yep, I'm going to address that. And then you've unspent science. Yeah, we'll address that too. What do we got here? Uh, your galleon is victorious. 200 science. Excellent. And also the farm has been built. Sure. So let's get ourselves this sawmill. The sawmill, as you can imagine, needs to be built on a wooded tile. We shall build that right over there. It's going to take two turns to build. That is fine. The sawmill, I think, gives us production, doesn't it? Yeah, so the sawmill is going to give us plus four production, which is really, really going to help. I think I'm probably going to end up leaning towards just building more production facilities because the benefits are just so unbelievably like large. They really, really are. Right, uh, let's also jump into the tech tree and have a little look. Galleons now heal when located on any island that you own. Allows you to build hospital on any island that you own. That's fine. Increases farms, sawmills, and mines product uh, production for each identical adjacent building located on the same shard. I'm pretty sure I'm going to go for that. Allows you to turn a colony into an exploitation colony. That's pretty cool too. And again, that's using the map view. We're going to be able to build stuff. Let's go for the productivity boost for now. That's fine, and then let's uh, let's move forward. Okay, you're going to move across here. Uh, we can get you over here, and we can actually start you fighting right about now, which is exactly what I'm going to do. And we will toggle back to here. How much longer on the farm? Not on the farm, sorry. On the uh, on the the sawmill. That's fine. No time at all. Science has got uh, science fight has got one more turn. We'll get rid of that. Get rid of that. What do we got? The production of your capital island is not in use. Yeah, I would wager that we're probably going to be given a new quest, which is going to tell us what to build next, which I'm quite happy. Settle and start developing your capital island, having a total of 15 citizens. I mean, we do not have that many at the moment, do we? We've got, like, almost none in the grand scheme of things, but we have built a sawmill, so that's nice. Extend your capital island by adding a new shard. To do so, you'll need a tug. Uh, for the first time, we will provide you one. So this is where things start to get very, very interesting indeed. We can get, we can get this tug, uh, we can get this tug to literally add whatever we want in whatever, in whatever sort of configuration we want to this area. Can I rotate this actually? I'm not sure I can actually rotate this. The, the, uh, it might be, it might be set in that specific configuration. Yeah, I mean, if I can rotate it, I'm clearly not figuring out how to rotate it but look it doesn't actually particularly matter because we're still gonna be able to get the adjacency bonus uh we are gonna take our island size up to the very max we can increase it past that i believe uh but we uh have not done that yet now i get those adjacency production bonuses let's get another sawmill like right over here and let's get immediately cracking on that it's still gonna take us two turns to get it done 
but that is fine with me. Okay, a lot of interesting stuff is happening here. First of all, we've got the shard added. That's excellent. Uh, Galleon is victorious. Brilliant. Let's actually look at our science. Plus three tiles to maximum size of your island. Any shard can be added using a tug. There we go. That is great. Uh, deploy mines on any strait that you own. I think we're going to take exploitation colony. We'll take exploitation colony. That's fine. We're still in the first era, so nothing, nothing crazy in terms of science. Quest has been completed. Let's go and pick up our quest. Build a mine on your capital island. Produce gold. Yes, which will allow you to maintain more troops. That is very, very important, in fact. Um, I think, actually, before we do that, though... Oh, I need more citizens. I need more citizens. I do need more citizens. How are we doing? Um, one citizen in three turns, because we've got plus four. We've got plus four food. We need 20 food to level up, so we're going to need to... We're going to need to get more citizens before we, before we deal with that. That's fine. Okay, uh, we can also see, by the way, that we have, we can also see that we've got an enemy ship that is going to come and try and attack our, trying to attack our island. Now, we can build a whole bunch of different bits and bobs here. Um, we can build a tower. It's going to cost me 1,200 bucks to build a tower here. If I build a tower, that's like a defensive structure against these enemy Corsairs, which are going to be coming in um, at me. Yeah. <sighs> I, I, I don't love it. Don't love it. Nothing, nothing too, nothing too crazy yet. But that's that's fine. Okay, let's um let's move on. Let's see what we've got. Yep, enemy corsair just as I predicted is coming is coming in on us. My production now is very very satisfactory. That's looking looking really really good. We're gonna be able to get that adjacency bonus over there. We're gonna be able to get an adjacency bonus over here. We will do both of these things. Now the mountain tiles. Mountain tiles. The mountain tiles. The mountain tiles. We need more citizens. We need more citizens. Desperately need more citizens. We're going to get a new citizen in two turns. Is there a way that we can fix this to not suck so hard? I mean, no. Uh, we basically cannot do anything until we get more until we get more. Uh, we can't build any different types of ships at the moment. A paved square, turn a forest or a, uh, or a wetland into a paved square, provides one additional house. I mean, that is useful. Um, a shipyard, we do not have enough citizens for. And also, what was the other thing? A cartographer increases the knowledge of your faction. I'm interested in all of those things, but unfortunately, we're just going to have to move on. Uh, we will have to move you over to here because I really want to take that fight and we're going to be able to take that fight next turn. I'm acutely aware of the fact that my my boat and my militiamen are on quite low HP. I'd really rather not endure that fight, but that's okay. We're going to be able to get an additional citizen next turn, which is very very nice indeed. The real question is what do I want to spend the what do I want to spend the extra citizen on? There we go. That's nice. A nice a nice defensive fight there. That's fine. Yeah, we got a we got a few options. We got a few options. First of all, we can get a we can get an additional farm. An additional farm might not actually be the craziest idea in the world. The problem is, I mean, we will get an adjacency bonus, which is kind of nice. What do we got? We got an adjacency bonus plus one. So we get two. We get two additional food. Plus four, six. We get eight food. I mean, that's that's really good. I actually think that we want to get an additional farm here. Because if we don't get an additional farm there, we're going to end up being in a sucky situation. Yeah. So I think that's what we're going to do. Nice. So that's going to be plus eight food, which by my very rough calculation means, yeah, three turns. Again, a little bit less than ideal that we're going to have to we're going to have to endure that length of time uh, without producing anything useful in our in our base. But that's fine. Right, our battleship was victorious. If I fly you home, are you going to... Yeah, let's say dock. Are you going to be able to regen HP, or are you going to require... You're going to require a little bit more... Uh, a little bit more infrastructure to do that. You might need a hospital. We might need to build a hospital, which, um, quite frankly, I am... I am content to do. But we're going to need... Yeah, we're going to need a little bit more time before we do that. Right, we're going to be able to get one additional population next turn. Hopefully, by building that farm, we shouldn't end up being penalized too too hard for uh for delaying it was maybe a little bit of a bold sawmill 
come to think of it. But I just like production so much, you know? Right, we'll build that mine over there. That's fine. We'll get that reward done, which is great. We've got a lovely little cable car thing. Or a little... What is that? Like a little basket? You know, like a little mining basket? Something like that. Anyway, quest has been completed. Let's collect our reward. Beautiful. Extend the city by building a paved square on your capital island. Yeah. Now that you've got a mine, time to spend your gold, build a tower. Yeah, we'll do that. And we'll extend. We'll extend the paved square. The problem is... The problem is, uh, I'd like to extend the size of my island before doing that. But can I... Can I do anything? Yeah, I don't know. I don't need that yet. Um, can I do anything? Can I do anything that I... Do I want to delete this farm? I really don't want to delete the farm. I really want to continue to grow my population. Like, it is very, very important. Like, we've, we're getting new population in two turns. But I also need to bear in mind the fact that I've got research, we've got productivity boost, exploitation. Galleon's healing is kind of essential, actually. Let's move back into the main world, and let's see if we can try and... Yeah, let's get you to undock. And let's see if you can try and go over here. There we go. It says you've got not enough science, but I think we're going to need to to do combat. Okay, let's go to the next round. Let's see what we've got going on here. Right, it's going to be a little bit more of an even fight, but we're going to be able to get we're going to be able to get access to a whole bunch of additional science, which I am very very interested in checking out. There we go. Got rid of that little science pop up. That is fine. Three turns. That's quite something. But the good news is, is that we should have an extra population right now, which is great. So, uh, we need to build a paved square, right? Yeah, we need to build a paved square. Also, we need to build a tower. Do I want to build a tower yet, or do I want to wait? Maybe I want to build a tower here. You know what? Build a tower there. Sure. That that seems fine. We'll build a tower there. We'll maybe build a tower here as well. So we'll have one on like both entry points into the into the archipelago. What do I want to spend my Yeah, the paved square needs to be on a free tile. That's a problem. Gold maybe? Is gold is gold really kind of what I value? I guess we'll go for gold. If I get more gold, then I'm going to be able to get a bigger a bigger fleet eventually. As long as we continue to, like, increase the population size, we should be fine. I will need to increase the island size quite soon. But we're going to need to get the galleon. We're going to need to get the galleon through this area over here. Money is looking really, really good, though. Money is looking very, very impressive. Tower has been built. Beautiful. Send one of your galleons to unlock a straight. Way ahead of you, video game. Way ahead of you. When's the next population upgrade? Three turns. Yes, yeah, so that's quite a while. That is quite a while. Okay. Um, we have just unlocked the straight, which is very, very nice. I am very, very low. I am very, very low. Let's build one of those there. Let's get back right over to here. Um, retreat is a strong word, but it is a retreat. That is That is what we were doing. That is what we are doing here. Galleons victorious. Excellent. Uh, I will collect my reward. Thank you very much. Secure a neighboring archipelago by destroying the lair in it. Doing so uh, will prepare the place for a future for future colonization. Yes, we're very interested in that. Very, very interested in that indeed. I'm going to get some militiamen. That is handy. That is handy indeed. Uh, yeah, I would really like to heal up. But again, I think we need to do that. I think we need to do that at a hospital, and the hospital needs to be built on one of these islands. Yeah. Only one per archipelago. Yeah, that's a problem. Maybe should have maybe should have used my research points on uh on that. Right. Well, you should attack there. Also to, uh, no, you didn't uh you didn't regen. That's fine. Just, you know, actually, just chill out here. Chill out here. That's that's fine. We do need more science. I am desperate for more science. That extra militiaman is going to end up costing me. Right. Let's just go to the next turn. Let's let's see what happens with the, the tower here. There we go. Let's 
get you in here. It's going to take three turns. Not exactly over the moon about that, but it's fine. We're going to see if we can try and defeat this lair. We got our extra person. What do we want? I can't afford to destroy the farms now. That's the problem. I think we maybe just want a mountain. Uh, a mountain tile. A mountain mine. We'll get a mountain mine. That's going to take us up to seven in use population here. Yeah, threat level increasing each and every turn. However, also money is increasing each and every turn, which is good. Right. We can always, like, we can always just, like, regen. We can always just regen these people, right? Like, we can go there, 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 ditch you, ditch you, and that'll allow us to get back up to, like, roughly full complement. It's a little bit expensive to do in terms of time and effort and energy, but, like, it'll, it'll get us pretty much back up to where we need to be. Okay, one additional turn and we'll, we'll get there. Uh, let's actually just do it right now so that I can go adventuring. Nice. Okay, this is super strong. We're only spending 140 bucks. Let's go through here. And we'll see what we've got going on in this zone. When are we, when are we leveling up? Plus one population in five turns. Oh, it sucks so hard. It sucks so, so hard. Yeah, it does. I need some wetland. I need some I need this wetland to be added to my um to be added to my to be added to my lands. Or maybe this wetland. I definitely need wetland, whatever it is. Right, so let's go into this area. Let's see what we've got going on. Um there is a layer that we can take out, which is exactly what I intend to do. I think we should be able to do it relatively easily. We've got plenty of money, actually. Right, let's go and fight. It's going to take four turns. Uh, let's do it. Also, I think there's a little sciencey thing over there, which I am very interested in seeing how that all works. Still no sign of another enemy Corsair, which is very, very good. Nothing too pressing at the moment. Nice. Okay, we've got it. We have taken over another archipelago, which is great. That's going to allow us to finish up a quest. Brilliant, and is going to allow us to colonize as well, which is very, very exciting. Now, if we click on this main island, once a colony is established, uh, it allows us to specialize. Yes, I would like to do that. How do I do that? I need a colony ship, don't I? Right. Yeah. Four turns here. Is it easier to do... I can't, I can't recruit here. Right, we're just gonna have to we're just gonna have to deal with the fact that it's gonna take four turns. That's fine. Right, so I believe if I jump back into here, uh, if we go this, a settler ship, we need to get us we need to get ourselves a shipyard. The problem is, is that if I destroy this, we're gonna end up immediately in trouble zone. Immediately in trouble zone. Yeah, paved square. Can we build a paved square on here? Yeah, we absolutely can. Okay, do that then, and then we'll build a shipyard in that corner. That seems like a great idea. Right, threat level has officially reached maximum, I believe. Okay. Right, that is where the enemy HQ is, which is something that we need to bear in mind. Not a major consideration, but it is definitely some, a consideration nonetheless. What do we got? Extend the city. We built that paved square. Nice. Build a shipyard. Yep, we will build the shipyard. We will build the shipyard right now. I'm glad that we can build it over here, actually. That's quite handy. It's going to take us two turns to do that. The Cantena Empire is getting stronger and has launched a major attack. Prepare your defenses. Yeah, it would be super nice if we could finish up with this science -y fight before we before we deal with this. Come on. It says it's going to be defeat, but we're going to get... We're going to get the ship... We're going to get the whole thing, like, mostly killed, right? Surely not a defeat. Oh, really? Really? Okay, that is... Uh, that is a problem. Uh, we can build ships now, though. So, you know what? I am, I am so not bothered about that. You have some unspent science. Oh, we actually 
got the science, which is super, super nice. Right, three tiles to the maximum size of your island. We can only get one of these. We can only get one of these. I need to go for I need to go for galleon healing, even though I really don't want to. I've got loads and loads of production. I'm really happy with where my production is at the moment. We have not got any spare capacity, and we don't have the ability to add any additional citizens at the moment because we don't have any growth, but that's fine. Let's yoink that shipyard, build a settler ship. I will, but I think I maybe need to build a galleon first. Yeah, let's build a galleon, and then we'll build a settler ship. So we should be fine in that regard. Galleon has been destroyed. Embarrassing, but not the end of the world. Prepare your defenses. Okay, so whilst that's happening, let's see if we can try and build a hospital here. Doubles the healing rate of all galleons in the archipelago. Heals the colony and all the buildings in the archipelago. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll start the construction of that. It's just going to cost money. We just need to get it done. Additional tower. Don't feel like it's necessary. We can, we can cope. We can cope without that. Right. There's a lot of stuff happening here. It feels like we're in a good place. So this is going to be undocked. I'm going to queue up a whole bunch of additional militiamen to go and... to go and just sit on that ship but I am getting the I am getting the settler ship before I do anything else also I would like to really colonize this area because if we colonize this area then we're going to be able to build towers here and that is really really powerful for us let's undock here right settler ship should be coming next turn right settler ship is coming next turn for sure beautiful okay let's see let's see what we've got going on right we built the settler ship Marvelous. I'll take that reward. Build a cartographer. Increase knowledge. Knowledge is used to unlock new stuff. Expand the territory. I'll take that too. Right. I would like to found a new colony. Can I undock? Um, I need to have a free hexagon in the world. This this ship is traveling slowly. Let's move. Let's move here, and then we'll recruit militiamen. Uh, then we will zoom in on the capital. We will undock from here. And we will get you to go all the way out here. There we go. Can I get you to move? Can you not? Hold on. There we go. Move over here and we will recruit more militiamen. Good, 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 good. Okay, I have no idea how strong this vessel actually is. I'm maybe a little bit apprehensive about the fact that it is going to come at me. But we should be okay. I feel like we're in a much better place now. We're in a much, much better place. We need to get a cartographer somehow. Uh, where's the cartographer built? It's built on a paved square, isn't it? Yeah, it's built on a paved square. We have no growth, though. That's the only problem. Like, these two farms actually, I think, ended up being a pretty legitimate, pretty legitimate move. Can I build... Build a paved square over there. Sure. I mean, there's nothing in our production queue. We might as well pave this square. Get a cartographer built at some point. You know, something to do. The big old militia is now looking good. Let's actually get the... Let's actually get the militia galleon through here. We'll get it through the straits. We'll see what we can do. Right. The enemy ship is getting closer, like, each and every turn. But we're going to be able to found a colony right here, which is great. Yeah, we get we get view uh, we get a view of of everything. Uh, we got a little treasure chest over here. We got lost secrets. Brilliant. Right. What I would like to do is I would like to build an exploitation colony, which allows us to export shipments, farms, sawmills, mines, the whole shebang. We're going to be finished in a turn. Um, can I build a? I can build a tower here, which is actually remarkable. Uh, and I can also build a hospital here, both of which I will do, to allow us to maintain, allow us to maintain, what is it, sky, sky supremacy, something like that. Build an exploitation colony, we'll get there, we'll get there kind of soon. Right, uh, I need, I need food, I need food in my original colony, that's what we really need. That's what we really need. Exploitation colony is built. Build a network of lighthouses. Lighthouses allow us to travel faster, if I can recall. Uh, we need science to do that. Let's head through here. 
and we'll move. Right. The enemy ship is like literally right over there, but that's fine. So uh, we are, what are we doing? Allows build, allows us to build farms. Oh yeah, we've got farms like all the way over here. Build a farm. I would love to build farms. I would absolutely love to build as many farms as the video game will possibly allow me to build. Build a mine. Um, yes. Build a mine. Yes, please. That is that is looking good to me. That is looking very very good to me. We still have to. We still have to actually get over here and like defend. Oh my god, it's big. It's big. It's big. It's big. It's very, very big. It's okay. Stay here, though. We'll be fine. Looks like this ship is trying to target me, or maybe that's another ship. That might very well be another ship. There's nothing stopping us, by the way, from getting ourselves a second galleon. Do I want another tug? I would love another tug, but I can't deal with that quite yet. Let's build another galleon. Let's build another galleon. We'll queue it up, and we'll see if we can try and dispatch that into the heart of the... into the heart of the... The, the mix. Also, now we are, like, very, very good for food. Look at that. One population next turn. Absolutely love to see it. Let's go and fight this. I mean, it says that we're gonna lose it, but because we've got the... Because we've got the tower underneath, um, I think we might be fine. But either way, I mean, we're gonna have to fight it. There's no other way to go around it. This is also the major attack, so it's kind of to be anticipated that it kind of sucks a little bit. This is looking really, really good, though. I'm really, really happy with how this is looking. This is excellent. Okay, I don't know if the enemy... I don't know if the enemy ship can join in the fun. I hope not. Galleon has completed construction. Let's go and have a little look here. Undock. Move over here. And one, two, three, four. Sure. We can build three... We can actually build three militia in one singular turn. I think that's probably what we'll end up taking. We got a new citizen. Does that allow us to build the cartographer? It absolutely does. Let's get that built. And you know what? Let's put that right up at the top. Because, frankly, I think that that's more important. Even though we are technically <laughs> we are technically at war. I'm content to deal with that. Looks like the tower managed to take out that little, uh, that little boat there. Yeah, we're still, still in a bit of a dodgy position. But... Again, it's okay. I really hope that this... Even if we do end up... Ending up in defeat here, it's it's going to be fine. Right. How's cartography looking? Knowledge. Excellent. Love to see it. Build a network of lighthouses. We're working towards that now. Uh, I think we build... A lighthouse. Yeah, we can build a lighthouse here in the straits. Can't build anything here. Build a manor. Increases your bonus score each and every turn. That's an interesting thing. I'm, I'm really not a fan of this major attack that's going on right now, video game. But hey-ho. Right. Uh, let's wait until... Let's wait one last turn. That was a defeat for our galleon over there. But I think you're... Yeah, you're going to end up going down at the same time. Which actually works out fine for me. Which actually works out fine for me anyway. Right, let's move through and see if we can try and take out the science place over here. This is looking great. I am really, really happy with this. This is fantastic. We're making so much money. We're making so much uh, food each and every turn. All we need to do now is just expand our, expand our island a little bit. Production queue isn't in use. I mean, we can build ourselves another sawmill over here, which is probably the most beneficial thing for us right now. We're going to end up using that, I'm sure, at some point in the future. Let's go, and, let's go and get science. Let's go and get science. Pretty much nothing else is a priority right now. Although, that being said, we can always, like, maintain a second galleon now. Because we've got plenty of cash. Like, we've got plenty of cash in the bank. And we've got plenty of cash just, like, you know, we're just, we're just doing it. We're just absolutely doing it. Uh, we are at maximum housing capacity here which is somewhat less than ideal. I mean, can I can I think about maybe building an extra mine? If I build an extra mine over here, does that give me an extra house? It might give me an extra house. I'll do it. I'll do it. I don't think it's going to give me an extra house though. Um where's the house overlay? Which one is the house overlay? 
Is it this one? Yeah. I don't think... Yeah, the mines don't give me... The mines don't give me extra... Extra housing. I feel like this is not something that I want to build. Let's... Let's just not worry about that. Let's just get... Militiamen, 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 Militiamen. And we'll undock you as well. Sure. Okay. Get over here. Do the fight. Do the sciency fight. That is fine. Tower's over there. Going to town. It's great. You're probably going to end up defeating... Defeating the enemy before I get there. Let's, uh, let's actually wait another turn. That's fine. You can begin your fight now, which is exactly what I will do. And we will go to the next turn. Excellent. Very, very good. I think you should be able to... You should be able to fight. Excellent. You're dead. Sucks to be you. Sorry, my cannons are too strong. And we've got more science, which is fantastic. Uh, yeah, the cartographer's... Increases knowledge. Knowledge allows you to unlock new research eras. Oh, it's re it's research eras rather than specific science. Okay, um, we can build a bigger island, which is exactly what I want to do. Let's get that. Allows you to build lighthouses on any island that you own. I'll take that too, because I need to build lighthouses for an objective. Uh, homeless has appeared in your capital. That is presumably because we have, yeah, not got, not got enough island space. Let me build a tug. I'll build a tug. That's going to allow me to expand things a little bit, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Let's get you to go up to here. We'll attack you over there. Uh, do I need a treasure chest? I don't actually think I need a treasure chest. I think I just want to attack. Let's just go in. Let's go for the jugular, so to speak. Let's see what we've got going on here. There we go. Go in on there. That's fine. And I do believe that we have got three available slots, which is going to be fantastic. Um, we're just finishing up with the two Ar archipelago fights here. That looks like... I think this might be where the faction leader is. Yeah, so I don't think it's necessarily there. I think we need to... I think we need to move around a little bit. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have moved you out, because you've got a little bit... You've got not, uh, not too much HP, but that's fine. Right, let's utilize this... Let's utilize this tug. Let's see if we can try and get... Maybe three wetlands. Move it over there. Yep. Now, in doing this, in doing this, I have some I have some thoughts. I'm thinking maybe we build some paved area. Because it does add an additional house. Alternatively, there's farms. Alternatively. Oh, we can't get sawmills, can we? Because I, I did the wrong, I did the wrong uh, thingy for for sawmills. Um, we can pave, we can pave this. Alternatively, farms. You know what? Maybe let's just let let's let the houses fill out. Like we've got the opportunity to get the houses to let the houses fill out anyway. Um, I am gonna just deal with the fact that, yeah, that's definitely where we need to go. Yeah. There's a lot of there's a lot of fighting to be done here. Oh. Holy cow, there's like no fighting to be done there? Right. Well, um let me tell you video game, I would like to build a settler ship. And in fact, I would like to build two settler ships. Very nice indeed. Right. Head out over here. There is nothing to be nothing to be gained over there. Okay, let's see we can recruit back here. Also, I need to build lighthouses. Yeah, each of your ship passing on a lighthouse uses one movement pip instead of two. Let's build that over there. Let's build that over here. Let's build that over here. How many lighthouses do we actually need? I think it I think that should be it actually. I think that might actually qualify for completing the quest, which is quite nice. Connecting another archipelago to your capital island to build a lighthouse. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I think that's I think that's it. I think that's enough. Right, let's actually go here and just fight the science, I guess. I really would like to get that uh, settler ship. We're gonna face another big enemy. We're gonna face another big enemy soon. Get you to undock. Uh, let's get you to move out here. 
that's fine. This area is probably more dangerous, I would have to say. Let's go back and fight this treasure chest thing. 600 bucks is a lot of money. I mean, it's nothing like crazy, but it's a decent, it's a decent chunk of change that is just sort of sitting on our doorstep. Nice. And then we also probably want to get like more sophisticated mercenaries or people to work on the ships. Allows the, a trading colony, allows you to build factories on the capital island. That's pretty cool. Three tiles to the maximum size. This is into the second era. Um, I think we'll take the trading colony because I would really dig the opportunity to build like more stuff. Produces goods for you to trade with. Must be placed on a paved square. So that's a great opportunity to perhaps like throw more resources into production here. Or more paved tiles into production, should I say. Right, this is looking good. This is looking good. Is it time for a big... Time for a big boy yet? No. Let's get you to go over there. That's fine. In fact, let's actually fight that science thing. We'll go over here. Don't worry. We'll get we'll get to that. But we're going to establish a colony first so that we can get the bonuses of having a, a hospital nearby. Which is quite nice. There we go. God, it really sucks. Movement really sucks, doesn't it? And... Yeah, get you to fight that treasure chest over there. That's fine. Have we got this? Yeah, let's get this uh, get this ship off uh, ship off up here, and let's actually jump back into the fray. See what our quests are first. 15, 15 citizens. Like we must be very very close. We are. We need more food first. Maybe worth getting another farm. It's a mine. Yeah, okay, get a farm there. That's fine. And then let's get ourselves a factory here. We need to get a second citizen in order to make that happen. Cancel that building construction. Instead, build that factory here. It's fine. We can we can forgo a little bit of we can forgo a little bit of stuff there. Okay. Um we do not have a ship that is ready to defend here, which is a little bit irritating. Right, go settle this area up. Archipelago not secured. Oh, we need to do the securing first. Hmm. Impossible to recruit in this archipelago. Right, we're going to have to go back in, and then we're going to have to come back out after that. It's a little bit frustrating. Thankfully, you're going to walk pretty much right into the line of fire here. Let's risk it. Let's risk moving the colony ship around a little bit. Okay, stay there for now. Actually, move into here. Recruit militiamen. Recruit two more. It's gonna cost it's gonna cost me a lot, but it'll be fine. Storehouses on the capital island, tiles on the maximum islands, warehouses on the island, a defense colony? Allows you to build a training camp on the capital island. You know what? I'll take a training camp on the capital island purely because I would really value the opportunity to build... Yeah, allows you to build conscripts. Must be placed on a paved square, one per capital island. That's pretty cool. Let's build that over there, which we'll be able to build after we get the militia... After we get the militiamen up and running. Okay. So far, so good. Uh, you can go over here. You can go in there. And then we're going to get you to go in there in anticipation of a fight. Right. Let's go and move let's go and move our troops in here and we'll be ready to settle this Langon area very very soon indeed and then we'll be ready to settle this area shortly after. Move you off to the side because I'm kind of terrified that we're going to lose our settler ship. That should be fine. Here we go. Go and fight that. That is going to be done in a singular turn. Very, very nice. And we'll come back to here, see what we've got. We've got a paved square there. Yeah, I don't think I can build the training camp, can I? Yeah, not enough citizens. Not enough citizens. That is entirely because... That is entirely because I haven't been able to expand my colonies, and the reason that I haven't been able to expand my colonies is because I haven't secured them. But we'll, we'll get at least... 
this one secured? Archipelago not secured. Are you kidding me? Oh, it counts as a lair as well as a ship. Okay, well, that's four turns. That's a little bit of a... That's a little bit of a nuisance if I if I had to be honest with you, video game. But at least we finish up the thingy over here. That's kind of nice. Yeah, okay. Move over here and get prepared for that. Fine. Right. We still need... One citizen. One singular citizen. Exile homeless. I don't want to exile the homeless. I want I want more people. I want more people to move here. More people to move here. Yeah, I feel like once we get once we get this little little extra colony up and running, we are absolutely freaking golden. Either this one or the one in the south. Right, we're gonna be able to start opening a barrage on this boat here. And we'll actually just go and fight you right there. I feel like that's fine. Right. Next turn, let's get... Let's get this colony finally secured. Flip in finally. Let's do it. Oh, nice. There's a little archipelago um, straits over here. That's fine. Now, what do we want? A trading colony. Allows us to build villages in the archipelago. I think I actually value, like, the food more. I think I really value the food more. Build a lighthouse. Build a tower. Build a hospital. Build a hospital on the... On that island. Build a farm. Oh, actually, no. Maybe cancel this. Cancel that. I think we need to let it develop first. Yeah, we need to let it... We need to let it get built first. And then we can... And then we can do something with it. Okay. This is good. This is good. This is good. Um, I do definitely need to get a trading colony. Maybe this over here can be a trading colony. I also need to recruit more militiamen here, but I can't do that, like, over there. Right. Build a farm. Excellent. Build a farm. Beautiful. Build a sawmill. Excellent. Build a sawmill. Excellent. Actually, that should probably be a... Should probably be a tower. Then that can be a sawmill. And then that can be a sawmill, too. Do we have a hospital here? No, we do not. Do I need a hospital here? Probably not. Um, we can also, like, additionally build lighthouses. Like, we can build lighthouses on all of these things. I don't know why I wasn't, like, building lighthouses before. But, like, we can add lighthouses to all of these. To all of these areas. Uh, that is, like, basically every single thing that I've got. Uh, shipments. Let's go to the next turn. Let's go to the next turn. That's fine. Uh, that actually completed our... Our objective, turn a colony into a trading colony. Yeah, this has got to be a trading colony down here. Look at this network of lighthouses that we got. Oh, we can travel so far. We can travel so freaking far now. It's really nice. Uh, we're not actually making uh, basically any money, but that's okay. Can I get a training camp here now? Not enough citizens. Um, we will get food, right? We will get food. Currently not trading. What's the issue here? Why is there a problem? We should be trading, right? It's an exploitation colony currently not trading. I don't know what the issue is. It says that it's not trading. Oh, do we need a... um? Do we need like a cartographer or something? I don't know. I have absolutely no idea. I have absolutely no idea. Is it because we have available ship? Do we need a shipyard per... Do we need a shipyard per thingy? We may need an additional... We can't get an additional shipyard. Huh. Okay. I am not... Uh, I am not too sure. We apparently can only get... Shipment is a function of the islands in the archipelago. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what it is that we need to that we need to do. Because we should be able to trade, right? Ah, we need a warehouse. 
Ah, okay. So we get one warehouse by default, which is what I wasn't understanding. And then we have to buy subsequent ones. Well, I tell you what, that's a pretty good uh, informative note upon which to end, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Myriad's Renaissance. It's a great game. Uh, I'm super psyched to play it. Uh, I'm super excited, uh, super excited that it's releasing. I uh, can't wait to can't wait to play more of it in the future. It's a good one. Check it out. Uh, you won't regret it. It's really, really good. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you ever so much for watching. My name, of course, has been Open Potato. Check out the Patreon if indeed you're interested in helping me make videos like this possible. But for now, and for me, I'll see you next time. Bye.